the love affair the reason? No, no, it was definitely. I mean, the love affair was a classical thing. I mean, you can see love affairs in, in a lot of films, uh, and and it's a recognizable thing. And but playing a man ahead of his time, who's actually a genius, is is rarely something you do. Uh, so yes, his his music, his. Uh, his uh, whole impact on the on the, on the 20th century uh, was 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 one of the reasons, definitely. I don't see him. He didn't. I mean, he, I didn't see him as. Or I don't think he saw himself as a revolutionary. Or uh, he was the punk of his time, but he was not trying to be provoking. He was just literally doing the music he liked, and 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 he seriously didn't understand why people didn't love him in the beginning. Uh, he didn't see himself as a, as a revolution. I think. Mm, that's what's fascinating. No, yeah, definitely. I mean, it was uh, in those days. Uh, people came to to watch music basically for. This was a time, the pony of the time. There was some ballet dancers who was cutely dressed, and and everybody loved him. And they went home again. And all of a sudden, he made them look extremely ugly. <laughs> and he played some music that was definitely not just to lean back and, and enjoy. Um, and he didn't do it purposely. He that's what that's what he had inside of him. Uh, so it was a big shock for him that people didn't love him. I think what's really interesting from our perspective now, um, so many years later, looking back on his relationship with um, Coco Chanel, and just that in a way that he was a dependent man, which in, in some ways, you know, she took him and his family into her house yeah, yeah. because he was he was penniless. Yeah. I mean, that sort of turns the tables, you know. Yeah. It was definitely something he hated. He was uh, he was a man's man. He, he liked the family system. He, he was in favor of that. He was definitely not approving of uh, the image that that Coco was bringing in the world, but as it often happens, he was deeply fascinated with it. So he just um, just madly fell in love with her. Uh, and, and but he, if he could have chosen, he would rather have the upper hand. Did you know anything? How much did you know about Stravinsky? Did you or you were admire of his music? Or and I mean, I certainly had no idea that they'd no. ever had an affair. No, I mean, I, I didn't know a lot about him. Uh, uh, I heard some of his music, and uh, when we started doing research, I, I did read some stuff about him. But with, with biographies, it's always somebody saying something that might have happened. So I, f quite fast, said, "Okay, I'm not going to read anymore." Uh, so I just dug into his music and, and started concentrating on that, and and figuring out why is this guy constantly doing something extremely beautiful, and then he smashes it up within 30 seconds. I, th I think that was the key to the character. Yeah, even also, I mean, she is the icon. I mean, she, she still is the icon for, for women you know, around the world. I mean, she did break the system, and she, but she was aware of what time she was living in. She was definitely doing it purposely, as opposed to Stravinsky, who was just doing it without thinking about the time. She was very aware of what she was doing, and, and that was her key. She wanted, she wanted a change, and that was her fuel. I'm uh, quite interested in the whole... Um the Russian-French connection, if you if you like, and just yeah. to work how Paris was this this place for 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 Russians to f to flee to after you know losing everything yeah. in, in the revolution. Was as it was supposed was was Paris then just the the epitome that's maybe London or New York is now of yeah, everything it chic. Was, it was yeah. I mean Paris was the center of the universe, uh, and, uh, as you say, the, the 20th century it was there, uh, and nobody, I mean nobody sp spoke English in those days in, in Paris, uh, so. Uh, this was the obvious place to go as an artist. Um, if not there, you might have gone to Spain or something, but Paris was, was the centre of everything. Do you think we sometimes forget? Not necessarily. I mean, they, they, we still listen to them, we still read them, and we still see their films. Uh, they're around. Of course, they didn't have the same power to distribute everything they made because it was a very close world. Uh, but if, if we forgot it, I'm sure it's coming back in, in heavy doses now. I thought it was interesting in some of the costumes, the way, um, you know, at the beginning, Stripper's is incredibly buttoned up yeah. in his collars yeah. and everything, yeah. and you sort of see him, you know, Which relaxing little, yeah. through the through the film, but did you yeah. just collaborate with the, the costume designers on sort of that, that kind no, of epiphany? I mean, that, him? That, was, that was his journey, anyway. I mean, he is a very arrogant and close man. He's very much in his own head. Uh, and, and, and his passion is not a physical passion, it's a music passion. That's the only way he gets it out. And his journey is obviously, Coco opens him up more and more. Uh, so that, of course, went down with the costume as well. I don't know if you if you play at all the the, the piano or anything, but if you, if you don't, how did you get around the uh, the the piano scenes and just the the appreciation yeah. of it, of his music as well? Well, I learned it. <laughs> the end of story. I uh, had to pick it up. Uh, and uh, I mean, I played very little before. Uh, 
but I, I, I think I actually understood his music. So for, for me, it was much more about trying to just go in and do it, uh, not be so super technical about it, uh, but try to find his, his own inner passion. Uh, so, but it was, it was not easy. <laughs> I can imagine. No, that, look, that looks amazing, actually. Yeah. I'll just finish up. Yeah, his later music. It's hard to say. I mean, obviously, we are making a stand that, that he, it, she is opening him up more, uh, also, maybe also in his music. I, I do think, personally, that his music was his only little hole for passion. And that would not have changed, even though he didn't have an affair with Coco. But I think, in our version, at least, that uh, he was embracing life a little more after that affair. That's at least what we we're trying to say. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate that. It was really interesting and a really interesting film. I had no idea about.